Okay, I've got my pocket cut out, pocket slot cut out on my peg head overlay, and I'm ready to, to locate it on the peg head and get it glued down. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to explain what I fumbled through earlier about making it easy to line your overlay up on your peg head. I'm going to get you a close up if I can. center line that comes on the plans that's the center of the peak on my overlay because I've got it glued got the pattern glued down to my overlay and I know where the center is on my peg head and I know where the center is back here because it's going to be in the center of my spline so all I need to do is just now is just line all those up and I know that my peg head will work out centered on my butt the cutout will, will work centered up on the center line and I don't have to worry about shifting that center line one way or the other to make the F scrolls work out on my peg head overlay because I already have them on there. That's about all there is to it. And then after I get that kind of centered up, I'm going to take some spring clamps just hold that in place. I've got a small 16th inch drill bit. I'm just going to drill a couple holes on the outside of my pattern. I don't want to get inside the pattern because I don't want my pins. I'm going to use some pins just to hold that in place as I glue it. So I'll place one here. And one up here in this corner. drop some pins in there and I know that, that overlay will stay centered while I'm trying to clamp it down. They're hold sometimes they're hard to hold so that'll that'll be a big help. You take the clamps off and then that stays really close. You don't have to worry about holding it there with why because I'm gonna put a I usually use a flat uh, piece of maple just to clamp, just to make sure I get a good, good pressure over the whole surface, because I want a good glue joint on. 